So right now, 532 caregivers and caretakers are facing some charges related to a man's death, and now we are learning new details about exactly what happened. And Jessica Schmidt has an update for us on this case from the alert desk. Yes, yeah, so we've covered this case before, and we already told you the two women are facing charges related to the death of a man at a local group home. But now we have the Wyoming police report that gives us a lot more details, really more insight into what officers say happened. GraceWorks Enhanced Living Group Home, a facility for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities back in October. Officers say they found 60 year old Daniel Jenkins face down in his bed with a meal pan by his face. And one of the officers started CPR until paramedics got there, but say Jenkins did end up dying. Diana Bidiaco, an employee, told police per reports that she and another person named McBenta Jimajoa were the only two workers there at the time, so each of them were responsible for five patients. She says Jenkins was blind and unable to move, but when she took him his lunch that day, he was alive. Police reports show she came back 15 minutes after giving him that food and Jenkins was not responsive. Police say she confirmed to them that she was trained in CPR but was too scared to do it. Reports show the other woman told police that she was also trained in CPR but couldn't do CPR because Jenkins was laying on the bed. Police also believe that she called her supervisor before she called 911. Reports show both of them are suspended from that facility as the investigation unfolds. They're each accused of failing to provide for a functionally impaired person. Betty Aco is also accused of gross patient abuse or neglect. At the alert desk, Jessica Schmidt, Fox 19 Now.